Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the same question of cam and follower motion with simple harmonic motion. The only difference in making the cam profile. In this question, cam profile is made when axis of the follower is offset by 15 mm from the axis of cam shaft. So you can see here, the profile of the cam line of the stroke is offset by 15 mm from the axis of the cam shaft. In the previous question, we have a axis of the roller follower meets with the axis of cam shaft like this. So this is a roller follower and this is a cam and the axis of both are meeting each other. But in this question, this is a roller follower and this is a cam shaft. So axis of both are offset by 15 mm. So this is the question and we have to find out the solution of this one. And all the other parameters like angle of rise, dwell and return are same as the previous video question in which axis of the follower is passing through the axis of the camshaft. So I recommend you to please see that video first. The description of the video has been given and you can also go to the video through the suggestion tab above right side of this video. So let's start the solution. So initially we are going to make the displacement diagram of the follower. So this is a displacement diagram. So how to make this displacement diagram I already explained in the previous video. So I directly move towards the cam profile. So to make the cam profile, first of all, we have to see that what could be the radius of that camshaft. So radius in this question is 25 mm. So first of all, draw the circle of radius 25 mm and this is a base circle. Then you are going to make a prime circle. And for this prime circle, we have a simple formula. I already explained in the previous video. So up to this point, everything is same as the previous video we have. Now you have to make one more circle and this is the offset circle means the radius of this circle is 15 mm okay because as per question it is offset by 15 mm. So now I will draw the axis for the roller follower. I make the roller follower like this so you can see this the axis of the camshaft and axis of the roller follower is 15 mm offset. Now let's move towards making the cam profile. So to make a cam profile, we have to divide our camshaft radius into angle of ascent, angle of dwell and angle of descent like this. So you have to take a line from the center of the roller follower towards the center of the camshaft and again make a line. So this is a 120 degree. This is an angle of rise, then angle of dwell, which is 30 degree and then angle of return which is 60 degree as per the question. Now we will divide the prime circle. So this is a prime circle into six equal parts as per the displacement diagram. So you can see this I will divide this. So this is a six equal divisions of this particular angle which is 120 degree and this is the angle of rise. In the same way the angle of descent which is 60 degree would be divided into six equal parts like this. So you can divide it with the help of compass. Now I will give the nomenclature to it. So this is zero. Now after giving naming to this equal divisions as per the displacement diagram, just join from each division towards a tangent of offset circle like this. So you can see this. I will make the lines from every equal division towards the tangent to this offset circle. In the same way, from the angle of descent, make a tangent to the offset circle from all the equal divisions like this. After that, you have to measure these distances like 1 to B, 2 to C, 3 to D, in the same way, 4 to E and up to 5 to M. And mark these distances on the cam profile diagram. O to A is coinciding in the displacement diagram. So it is coinciding over here as well. So 1 to B. So 1 to B take a distance like this. So you can see here this is a distance 1 to B. So this is a point B. In the same way 2 to C. 
So whatever the distance from 2 to C in the displacement diagram, exactly mark the same line over here. In the same way, 3 to D. So in the same way, complete this CAM profile diagram like this. So after locating all the points, as per the displacement diagram, just draw the circle of radius or diameter 20 mm because diameter of the roller is given which is 20 mm. So this is a circle of diameter 20 mm. So take B point as a center and make a circle of radius 10 mm. In the same way, take C, as, C point as a center and make a circle of diameter 20 mm. In the same way, mark D as a center and make a circle of 20 mm. In the same way, make all the circles at all the given points like this. So these are the impression of the roller follower as moving on the profile of the cam. Now we are going to join the lower part of these circles with free hand like this. So you can see this, I just join the lower parts of the all the circles and this blue is a cam profile and it is tangent to every circle of the follower and you have to complete your cam profile like this you have to complete on the right side part as well so this is a complete is a cam profile now we will move towards the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration so to find out the maximum acceleration and velocity during rise of the follower we have a formulas for that and the formulas are so these are the formulas for maximum velocity and maximum acceleration during ascent of the follower now just putting the values over here but before putting the values please remember that your theta here is angle of rise so angle of rise here is 120 but 120 degree should be converted into radians just putting the values here. So after putting the values of all the parameters, the maximum velocity is 0.39 meter per second and maximum acceleration is 6.13 meter per second square. In the same way, you can find the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration during descent. So these are the formulas for the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration during descent of the follower. But the only difference is angle. Angle should be taken as a return of the follower. In this case, it is 60 degree and 60 degree should be converted into radians. So after putting the values, our velocity is 0 0.785 meter per second and acceleration is 24.67 meter per second square. So these are the values of maximum velocity and maximum acceleration during ascent and descent. I hope you understand this question. Thank you everyone.